Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here Official Guide to the GRE Revised General Test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it in order to prepare for the exam. It is the only book on the market, it is the only source on the market which contains real GRE exams given by the same folks who are going to give you your exam, the ETS, Educational Testing Service. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 126. Page 126, today is our day number 20. Today is our lesson number 20. The problem that you see on the top of the page 126 is a very simple, straightforward problem. We have a profit of $5. We had a cost of $15. The question simply is, what is the profit as a percentage of cost? Very simple, very straightforward problem. What is the profit as a percentage of cost? Well, the profit is $5 as a percentage of cost, not as a percentage of revenue. It is $15 as a cost, so it's one-third. Can you, can you type, can you just put in one-third? Can you just uh, grid in one-third? Or, of course not, because they're asking you, what is the question asking? You see, you have to read the question and see what they're exactly asking. What is the expected profit as a percentage? One-third as a percentage would be 33.33%. But then, I'm going to read one more time and more carefully. It says, what is the profit expressed as a percentage of the merchant's cost? And then, it's, then it goes on to say, give your answers to the nearest whole percent. And give your answer. Give your answer to the nearest percent. The reason I'm making a fuss about it is because I've seen ta at times, including myself, where people do all the work and at the end they forget about paying attention to these notations that are given and we end up typing in 33.3 .3 or 33.33 and you get no credit for it because they're asking for the nearest, the nearest whole number, the nearest whole percentage and therefore the answer here would be simply 30 Three. That's it. Nothing more than that. 33. Because outside the box, you have this notation for percentage. So 33 is the nearest whole number. Which is why I have this written here. I'm going to read it to you. As it's written, it says, pay attention to the labels before or after the answer box. In this answer box, we have a label outside after the box. This is percentage and this is a whole number. So we just, we just have to put in 33. What I want you to do is make sure that you turn to page number 123. There, there are some tips there at the bottom of page 123. I'm going to point it out to you. At the very bottom of page one, at the very bottom of page 123, you're going to see this blue box here with some tips in it. I want you to read those tips carefully. Okay? Pay attention there. Make sure that you do not end up doing all the work and then find out that you got no credit for it because you were not paying attention. You forgot. You forgot the fact. You forgot the fact, which is what it says here, pay attention to the labels before or after the box. I don't want to find out that you did all the work and then, uh, and then realize that outside it said 33 yards and the answer that you came up with was 33 feet and you forgot to pay attention to it. 33 feet, had you come up with the answer of 33 feet, I can't write feet. If we solve the problem and the answer comes out with 33 feet and the outside it says yard, then we got to put down 11 and vice versa. Outside if it says, if it says cents, then we have to put it as cents, uh, 95, that's it, that's it, 95 cents. But if the outside the box, if it says dollar, then we have to put that, oh, I, I don't know why I raised it, we have to put a decimal in front of it. You get the idea. Make sure you pay attention to the units that, are, that, you, that the answer is being asked to express in because otherwise there is no credit for it. 
There is no partial credit on this exam. I will see you tomorrow. That was a very simple problem, as I said, I know. I will see you tomorrow when we will do a problem which is not exactly quite so simple. We'll, some, we'll spend some time on it and we'll do the problem on the same page. Uh, is it on the same page? We are on page number 126. Yes, on, on the same page, at the bottom of the page 126, there is a problem about machine A and machine B. We'll do that tomorrow, okay? I'll see you then.